What's up guys? Welcome to my kitchen. If it's a little echoey, that's why. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys my recipe for homemade almond milk. I feel like every time I tell people I make my own almond milk, they look at me as if I am an amazing, well-trained chef. And I'm not kidding, homemade almond milk is the easiest thing you probably will ever make. All you need is a blender, almonds, filtered water, vanilla, sea salt. I use dates for sweetener, but you can use whatever you want. You can use maple syrup, you can use honey, you can use real sugar, totally up to you. I just prefer dates. I think they call them nature's candy for a reason. Um, this is a nut milk bag. You can get these on Amazon. I think I got a pack of two for $6, but at the end you're gonna have a lot of almond pulp, so you're gonna wanna strain it through here. Um, into a bowl, a jar of some sort to keep it in, and then a strainer. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one cup of almonds and I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse them. Okay, so I rinsed my almonds. Another thing you can do is you can actually soak your almonds for an hour. Sometimes if I forget, I'll do it overnight. And I do think that if you use soaked almonds, it makes the almond milk taste more almondy. But um, you definitely don't have to do that if you're in a time crunch or if you just don't like the taste. I just go ahead and use just regular raw, unsalted, unroasted almonds. Um, so I just rinse these off. Sometimes there's a little bit of dust. And I don't know, I just feel like then it makes it like dusty almond milk and I don't like that. So we're gonna use our blender. We're gonna put in the cup of almonds, four cups of water, our two dates. <laughs> Maybe don't drop the dates in there. I just splashed myself. And then a dash of vanilla. Realistically, I don't ever measure. I just kind of throw things together. But about a teaspoon of vanilla. You can. You don't have to use the vanilla. You can totally um, do without. I just like vanilla almond milk. It's my favorite. A little bit of sea salt. Literally a pinch. There's something about salt and sea salt specifically that um, wow, sea salt specifically that just enhances and brings out the flavors of whatever you're doing. Now, the loud part, blend. And you're probably gonna wanna blend this about two minutes. All right, so once it's blended, um, it's gonna be very frothy, but that's all right. So what we're gonna do next is take our nut milk bag. If you don't have a nut milk bag, um, it's just basically super, super fine. Think nylons or like a, you know those little sockies you wear with your shoes so they don't show? It's kinda like that. Um, if you don't have it and you just have a regular strainer, that's fine. Usually a strainer, the holes are a little bit bigger so you might get a little bit of that almond pulp. But if that's the case, if you just have a strainer, I recommend just blending a little longer. So anyway, I just have a bowl, my nut milk bag, and I'm going to just pour my almond milk in here. There we go. Now this is the part that gets a little messy because you're gonna need to squeeze this bag. I like to kind of start at the top. Squeeze slowly. One time I squeezed a little bit too aggressively. I was excited. You'll have almond milk everywhere. So you just want to kind of squeeze from the top down, just releasing all of that yummy, creamy almond milk. One of the great things about making your own almond milk is that it doesn't have all the sugar that a lot of store-bought brands have. You kind of tend to think like, oh, almond milk, it's healthy. But then you look and it's like 13 grams of sugar per serving. And you just don't want to drink that. You just don't want to drink sugar. This is super healthy. The only sugar that's in it comes from the dates. 
so your body knows what to do with it, it knows how to process it. And the cool thing with making your own almond milk, you'll have a lot of this pulp at the bottom. It's just kind of tiny little pieces of almond and it makes a really nice body scrub. So if you just take a bowl with this almond pulp into the shower with you and just rub it all over, it's an amazing exfoliant, it smells so good. You wanna eat yourself. So that's pretty good, pretty much nothing left, but this almond pulp kind of looks a little bit like almond butter. Okay, so our almond milk is all done. We're gonna go ahead and transfer it into an airtight jar. This actually is just an old pasta sauce jar. I, I like to recycle, so I save a lot of my jars. I just find that it keeps fresher in something that's sealed airtight. And so we'll just put this. I did not soak the almonds will stay good in the fridge for about five days if you do soak your almonds um, it's only gonna stay good for about two to three days in the fridge but we usually go through this in about two to three days anyway because we love it on smoothies not on smoothies we love it in smoothies we love it on um, cereal on oatmeal we're an almond milk household so that's what we do so anyways this is how I make almond milk feel free to try it try your own variation you can put cinnamon you can omit the vanilla whatever you guys want. It's really the easiest thing, the easiest base, and then you can work towards it, whatever you want. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.